So welcome to another episode of FC25 Confirmed News, Leaks and Rumours. Today we're putting all the latest news together from the last few weeks. We're talking about new stadiums, we're also talking about VAR, licensing stuff and some other things as well. Let me know in the comments if you're excited for FC25. So let's talk about some new stadiums. There's going to be two confirmed new stadiums for FC25. The first one is the Voif Arena, and that belongs to FC Heidenheim. I think they got promoted in 2022-23 season, and it looks like EA did not add their stadium into FC24. Hopefully FC25 will have their stadium. And another team that got promoted back in 22-23 was SV Darmstadt, and their stadion, Am Bollenfalter, should be in FC25 as well. This one is a speculation, but Holstein Stadion could be coming as well. That belongs to Holstein Kiel. I think they just secured promotion to the Bundesliga this season. And then there's the last one, the Allianz Arena, that belongs to Bayern Munich. Now, even though everyone knows that Bayern and Konami have a partnership, this stadium could still be coming in FC25 due to it hosting the 2025 Champions League final. I think the Champions League final venue is automatically inserted into FC games due to the partnership, but we'll see what happens with this one. Could VAR be coming to FC? C25, I do have an update. This comes from Sam Rivera, who is one of the gameplay producers for FC Games. Sam has said that they would like to have VAR. I quote here, Simply, it is what I say, and it is a very direct answer. As a video game, we know from the beginning if it was a foul or if it was not a foul, if it was out of place or not out of place. So, so far, we have had other characteristics in which we have preferred to invest in than VAR, but of course, it's still there, and it's something that definitely at some point you'll see. So eventually, they might figure out how to put VAR into the game, even if it's just a visual thing. Sam also goes on to say, I think it also depends on the game mode you are playing. If you're in something more realistic like career mode, then it does make sense to be able to have some mechanics there around the VAR. If you're playing something competitive online, you just want to play, you want to continue, then you don't necessarily want a VAR. But of course there are possibilities for now in FC24, there is no VAR. It does make sense what he said. Crew mode people would appreciate VAR more than Ultimate Team. Footzone FIFA says that EA has already begun reaching out to play testers to test out FC25. The game is near completion apart from advertising and marketing. Of course, we're in June. It's probably already done. Footzone also has an FC25 Ultimate Team leak. Managers in Ultimate Team will have their own tactical visions, kind of like chemistry styles. Works like in career mode. Managers won't be price capped at 5000 and example, Guardiola will have a tiki taka style. Mourinho would have a park the bus style. Obviously, it comes from foot zone, so sometimes they get it wrong. Keep that in mind. Could Gareth Bale be the first icon confirmed for FC25? Gareth Bale has now been added as an icon in FC Online, which is a FC game made for the Asian region. What you see there sometimes does transfer over to FC games on PlayStation 5 and Xbox. So Bale could be one of the new icons for the next game. Two Portuguese clubs will be getting removed in FC25. Vizela and Chavez both got relegated from the first division in Portugal, so obviously they're going to be removed from the game. You may have noticed in the Euro DLC that Spain's national kit has the UEFA Nations League winners patch on it. Some people are saying that this could mean that the Nations League is coming to FC25. I don't think that's something that you could confirm at the moment. Some Nations League matches did feature FC24 sponsorship, but you got to remember that EA and UEFA have a partnership, so that's why as well. I don't think based on this evidence so far that we could confirm that the Nations League will be coming to FC25, but you never know. There was one promotional image for the Euro DLC that showed a new face for Ruben Neves. Now, Ruben Neves does not have this face in the game so far. Could this be a face in FC25, or will it be coming out in a future FC24 title update? I'm not too sure, but keep an eye out for his updated face. And the biggest news today is that Roma and Napoli will be coming back to FC25 as officially licensed clubs. Duran Del Pez, who mines the eFootball game code, has also seen that Napoli and Roma now have fake logos in the latest eFootball update, which indicates they will become unlicensed soon. Konami does get the interlicense though, but they're going to be losing Roma and Napoli. The Roma deal started in August 2020, so it's been about four years and the Napoli deal started in April 2021, so that's been over three years as well. So it's been a fair while, and these deals must be coming to an end. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to get all the latest FC25 news, and click on the thumbnail in the middle to check out the latest big eFootball update.